This all started when uh, a couple young, dumb college kids drinking Bush Light before we went to D-Lads. Man, what should I write my final project about? And presentation for my entrepreneurship class. And all of a sudden, I don't know, Hunt Raw. What? Hunt Raw, what's that? Real action waterfowl, and uh, that started this whole mess of things. Got him. That's what I did. Wrote a, did a big slideshow on snow goose hunting, and that I thought I should make a business of it. And after class, he said, yeah, that's a great idea. I think you should do that. Well, I, we did it. And uh, bought 15, 20 layout blinds, bought $30,000 worth of decoys, and 10 years later, here we are, grinding again, trying to catch them not looking. And, from chasing feeds at one point every day for three or four years to now I'm sitting in a pit throwing a lid back shooting migrators. We're fixing to go back to grinding and I hope everybody's ready because it's going to be a trip. I thrive on shooting geese really close, and so does everybody that hunts with me, so I'm a lucky guy. When it's 55 degrees and there's a south wind and there's migrators spinning down on top of you, there is not a better thing in the wild. And I don't care what anybody says, I'll argue it till the day I die. But all that sacrifice, that one second when we call the shot and all that chaos happens, it's awesome. <laughs> And it's, it is something, all the water splashing and all the giggles because you just can't fathom 12 guns going off, you know, 125 shells going off a case of, a case of bullets every time I say go. It's wild. It's the craziest thing you can imagine. And it's just the giggles you hear. The first, the first time people are the best. And it gets me going and they just start laughing. That's awesome! And it's just because you can't, there's no other one. I mean, you're so happy, you're so pumped up, but you just, you know that's when you won, is when you kill a bunch of stuff and people start laughing because they just can't believe that just happened. And uh, that's why I'm doing it.
Well, geez. You, you want to catch those sunny and south wind days. There is, there is no thrill like it. And you get out here and finally put out snow goose decoys, uh, put out an e collar, fill the pit up with, you know, 12 guns with with extended magazines, and you watch those geese sit there and work you and work you and work you. And there is absolutely no better thrill than coming out of a pit and just letting loose on them. We run a pretty big spread here. We got about 3,000 Avery full bodies out and we can't just come out to our spread and hunt in the morning. We've got to move decoys for the wind, put some decoys back on stakes, fix some floaters. Not many people understand the work that goes into this spread. There'll be days where with heavy winds, where tornadoes come through the area and there'll be decoys spread out across 200 acres. And it really gets to be a mess sometimes, but if you can imagine, it's a lot of work. We usually have to get out here about an hour to two hours early to get everything situated and ready to hunt. You can't hide a layout blind in a muddy field. It's just you cannot do it. I don't care what anybody says. It's not going to happen. You're going to shoot the first volley and everything around you. You're going to have this perfect rectangular circle, whatever kind of messed up shape you have, of footprints all the way around the blind of solid mud that outline where you're laying with guns. And it just does not work. And that's where we ended up with the pit idea. And next thing you know, we have 60 acres or 80 acres of flooded water with 800 floaters and 1,200 full bodies. And uh, that's, it, it really started working real well at that point. We started shooting into real big bunches of migrating geese really, really close. And I mean, just really, really close. And that changed everything. Let's kill them! The amount of sacrifice and time it takes to make all this go, you know, there's always a weekend in January where we get together or during duck season when we shoot a limit in the morning, then we work on drilling holes in full bodies and putting loops in them, or we work on going through rotaries and getting things working or fixing flyers or, goodness, camo in the pit or building the pit lid. But, you know, the amount of sacrifice for Greg and Mills and everybody involved is crazy. It's just insane to think about what we do and to explain this to other people is really hard. But, uh, you know, we're going to we're gonna start this guiding deal again and, and we're going to sit in the pit and my goal is to keep you in there all day. We're going to eat, we're going to drink a lot of Mountain Dew, we're going to shoot a lot, shoot us an email, we're going to attach an email to this. You'll see the lodge, good friend of mine at Webb's Woods, John Thompson, they do a fantastic job of taking care of everybody there. It's awesome. Cypress, Tupelo Swamp, right on the bank. You couldn't ask for a better place. It's a blast. It's, it's a short drive to the pits, and uh, we're going to have fun. We're ready to get this show started. And uh, the main thing is, not to forget, it's all about the experience of migrating snow geese. Go!